Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Josh and today we'll be taking a look at um, the best credit cards in New Zealand in 2019. Um, so the idea around this video is because um, I've had a lot of friends and colleagues ask me um, what I thought, you know, what credit cards I use, how I do it and all that because um, this is how a usual conversation with um, Josh Wang, this is how it goes. It will be, hey man, how's it going? And I'm like, yeah, good man, I just got my new credit card. And they'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I'll go on about my credit card. So I think I should stop that now. And if people want to hear about my credit cards, they can come to this video and watch that. So in this video, I'll be covering the different types of credit cards um, that I use and the best type of credit cards out there as well. And a lot of these overlap. Um, in the case where the cards that I'm not using are still considered best in their class, then I'll also mention that. Um, so there are really three classes um, that a lot of people go after. So the first class is low fees. Basically, they want um, no fees on their credit cards. Second one is um, flights rewards. So people want the air points and all um, travel insurance and all that that comes under a different class. And there's another one like cash back. So this is pure play cash that you can get money out of it um, at the end of your year that you spend on that credit card. Another thing to note is that some of these cards I applied for when they had bonus deals. And so it might be worthwhile to just wait for these deals to come back on and um, apply when they do come back on. Because the thing is, if you apply without the deal, then when the deal come back, comes back on, you won't be eligible for it if you try to reapply for it. Um, so it might be worthwhile to wait if you're um, not in an urgency to get any credit cards. So let's first dive into the low fee credit card. So the first one that I have is the um, ASB no fee credit card. So this card is a zero fee card and you don't pay any money on this. You have no annual fee. Um, obviously, you still have to pay interest if you don't make payments. Um, but the good card, the good thing about this card is um, you can basically keep it, not have any transactions on it, and still not have to pay any fees. So this is a great card if you're starting out. If you're looking for your first credit card, um, this is a great card to have. But one of the downsides is obviously with no fees, um, you have a lower credit limit on this card. So me personally, I only have a thousand dollars of credit on this ASB no fee card. And that's also because I, this was the first credit card that I applied for. And this was the first credit card, um, that, you know, I, I got, and I, when I applied this, I was still at university without any income. So this, you can apply that for this as a student. So this is a great card to have to start building your credit score, um, immediately, right? There's also another card that is the, um, American Express variant of this card. So that card is the American Express um, Air Points card. And as you can see, there's really no annual fee here. And the interest rate as well is zero for the first six months and reverting to 20% thereafter. And when you sign up, you do get a $50 bonus points, Air Points dollars. Um, but to, to be entitled to that $50, you need to spend $750. Um, in your first three months of membership as um, highlighted here. So um, this is a great alternative to to the ASB card, but I have to warn you that American Express is not as widely accepted as the ASB Visa card. So when you're um, applying for these cards, especially for American Express, then it's important to know that um, it's, it's not as useful as ASB. So what you could do is just apply for both. Um, that, that would be my approach. But personally, I don't, I don't use this AirPoints card because I use a different American Express card, which leads me to my next um, section, which is travel. So I have the American Express um, Platinum Edge card here, right? So this American Express Platinum Edge card is um, probably one of the better cards that I've had so far just because it's offer, it offers a very nice balance between um, cashback rewards and travel rewards as well. Um, so the card has an annual fee of $149, but really the benefits that you get from it um, pays it off really quickly. So when you sign up for this American Express Platinum Edge card, um, you, you get a, you're entitled to a bonus of 20,000 membership points. 
um, if you spend $750 um, in the first three months. So it's similar to the American Express, Express Air Points card. But the thing is, if you are already an existing American Express card holder, then you won't be entitled to the bonus points. So that's why I have the Platinum Edge instead of the Air Points card, because I wanted to take advantage of the better bonus um, points on the Platinum Edge card. And so how much is the membership points worth depends really on what you um, claim with the points. So what I do is I claim back gift cards from it. And when I when I signed up for the Platinum Edge card, there was actually a bonus deal going on where I got 50,000 points. So 50,000 points roughly equates to $300 because you can basically claim gift cards for Z or New World. So obviously being a Z shareholder, um, as you can see on the public portfolio that we want to support Z. So I, I've been getting a lot of, uh, claiming a lot of Z vouchers. So for 8,000 uh, membership points, you can claim $50 worth of um, gift cards. And so with the 50,000 points, I was able to extract already $300 worth of um, gift vouchers, which already paid for that $149 in fees. And on top of that as well, you get one free domestic flight per year, right? So that, that really depends on where you travel to determine the value. So obviously to extract maximum value, I have booked a ticket to Queenstown and I've booked it on the Labor Weekend. And if we check Google Flights, the flights are worth actually $556. So obviously not many people would travel on the Labor Weekend, but using the Platinum Edge free domestic flight, I was able to do that um, as part of one of the perks of the card. As well as that, there's um, complimentary travel insurance. Um, so if you're going overseas, then definitely a great card to have. So American Express rewards you for shopping at different places at different amounts. So when you go grocery shopping at the big stores like Pack and Save New World and Countdown, um, you earn basically three times the normal rate of earning points. And if you shop at Z or Caltex, I think, or Mobile, you, you get um, two times the points as well. So when, we cal when I calculate it back to... Um, redeeming gift cards for every $53 you spend at a grocery store you get about $1 back and if you spend $80 uh, for petrol at Z um, you get basically a dollar back and everywhere else you spend you get $160 uh, $160 spend you get $1 back so it's not really worth it if you're using this as your day-to-day -day card outside of grocery shopping and petrol shopping as well if, you, if you're not interested in the American Express card, then definitely sign up for the Kiwi Bank Air Points card. So um, this is a new card, and as you can see, I haven't, haven't taken that off, so it's still there. Um, so this is a very new card that I got. So the Kiwi Bank Air Points card allows you to earn a one Air Points dollar for every $75 that you spend. Um, as well as that, there's free insurance, um, travel insurance when you're overseas as well. Um, when I signed up for the card, there was actually a $300 bonus air points, um, um, sign up scheme. The offer unfortunately has expired on Monday, but they might bring it back in the future. So be on the lookout for that. So the sign up fee for that card, the air points, um, Kiwi bank card is $75 per half year. And so over the year, you're looking at $150 of, um, fees. So what I've done is I've applied for this bonus um, with the bonus um, sign up and so I've got that $300 and what I can do later on is just cut the card and uh, cancel it and um, walk away with that $300 so I've just made um, $225 worth of air points um, yeah for free really and this is also a great um, card to do your normal grocery shopping and if you're buying Air New Zealand tickets on this card you get uh, special rate at one air points dollars for every $65 you spend. So definitely a good card to have if you fly a lot with Air New Zealand. And lastly, let's move on to from the travel sort of cashback side to a more pure play cashback um, 
aspect and this is the ANZ um, cashback card so this is a great cashback card if you spend more than ten thousand um, dollars in the year because um, when you spend more than ten thousand dollars then you get a rebate at the end of your financial year one percent of your spend so for every hundred dollars you spend you get one dollars back in cashback but the thing is if you don't spend over ten thousand dollars then this isn't really worth it because the rate drops so if you spend between five to ten thousand dollars then the rate drops to 0.5 percent right so it halves from one percent to 0.5 percent if you spend less than five thousand dollars on the ANZ cashback card however you don't actually get any cashback rewards so make sure that if you're gonna get the ANZ card that you spend at least $10,000 a year to take full advantage and break even from holding, um, for, from even getting the card. This card has a $60 fee, um, so basically you, you have to spend more than $10,000 to break even on this card. So one of the perks of using the ANZ um, cashback card is that the first year, is free so you don't have to pay any annual fee the $60 annual fee for this card on your first year if you spend less than $10,000 a year on your credit card then I highly suggest the BNZ um, cashback card so with this BNZ cashback card you're entitled to a $1 cash reward for every $150 of eligible spend so that's an equivalent of 66 cents to $100 the annual fee on this card is $40 um, a year and charged as $20 half yearly. So this is a way better card if you spend less than $10,000, right? Because um, to break even on this card, you would need to spend about $6,000 for the 12 month period, um, which is less than the ANZ cashback card that I have. And so when you're deciding what type of credit card you want to get, um, there's obviously different criteria as, uh, as I've talked about. And so it's important for you to sort of see what, what points they offer in terms of spend and check whether you'll be able to break even from um, using these cards. And another thing to look out for as well is um, the different types of deals that they do offer. So like I said, a lot of these credit cards that I um, had, um, I signed up when there was a, um, a special deal going on and that, that meant that it was very um, much easier to make money off those credit cards right off the bat. There's also a useful site available for Kiwis to check their credit score called Credit Simple. And Credit Simple basically shows you what your credit score is. I'm not affiliated with Credit Simple, but that's um, a website that I use personally to sort of check out my credit score. Obviously not financial advice, always do your own research before getting a credit card. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and helps the YouTube algorithm as well so people can find the video. So that's all folks, uh, hope you enjoyed the video.